Hi, I'm Dwanisha Potter, and I am the owner of Servant Home Care. Servant Home Care is a non-medical home care agency. And at Servant Home Care, we provide assistance, well, home care assistance to mainly seniors and the elderly within our community. My role at Servant Home Care is that of the owner, but I also at times have to be a caregiver. The caregivers provide direct care to the clients and that care should be quality care. So they do things like feed the client, they provide meal preparation, they assist with bathing, showers, ambulation, help them get dressed and undressed, they help them groom, um, they, they just do a variety of different things that kind of include, that falls within the personal care assistance for that client, for them to be able to stay home and not be transferred to a nursing home or have to move to a nursing home with, with a relative. A regular day for a caregiver can be a variety of different scenarios. It really depends on the client that they're working with. And that caregiver will be able to review the, their service plan to figure out exactly what job duties will be performed for that client. There's no education or certifications required to be a caregiver. Every caregiver usually comes with some set of skills that can help them easily adapt to the, to the job or the position. They either have taken care of a pet, a mother, a, a father, a child, a grandparent, or some person that they have helped take care of. So they come with those set of skills and don't even know it most of the time. To be the best caregiver that you can be, you should be able to make a connection with the client. You should also be able to fulfill all the job duties and be able to think on your feet and in the spirit of the moment to be able to provide some of that assistance that might not necessarily be listed um, as a caregiver, to, but to be able to fill in the gaps as the client needs. Companies are usually looking to hire somebody that's honest, that's trustworthy, that's able to work with little supervision that's able to be compassionate and caring and be able to meet the needs of the client. One of the things that I love about being a caregiver is being able to, to spend that quality time with the client, to be able to get to know that client, to be able to get that immediate gratification that you know that you have helped this client to remain home and not have to go to a nursing home or move with a, in with a relative. The challenges that caregiver usually run into is dealing with a difficult client, a client that is not happy with, with life itself. Dealing with a difficult client, you just have to be patient or dealing with a client with dementia might be one of the most difficult uh, client experiences that a caregiver have. I think it's important for students to have an idea of what they want to do with um, in high school and kind of explore that. Do some research on it, talk to your guidance counselor about it and, and take either go get some job shadowing or kind of explore what you want to do just to make sure that's what you want to do. But I think that you should have a good idea of what you want to do for the rest of your life in high school.